Section 4 of Selected Works, Letters, Sketches, and Stories by Voldrin de Clare. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Reward of an Apostate of Selected Works, Letters, Sketches, and Stories by Voldrin de Clare. I have sinned, and I am rewarded according to my sin which was great there is no forgiveness for me and let no man think there is forgiveness for sin the gods cannot forgive this was my sin and this is my punishment that i forsook my god to follow a stranger only a while a very brief brief while and i would have returned there was no more returning i cannot worship any more that is my punishment i cannot worship any more Oh, that my God will none of me. That is an old sorrow. My God was beauty, and I am all unbeautiful, and ever was. There is no grace in these harsh limbs of mine, nor was at any time. I to whom the glory of a lit eye was as the shining of stars in a deep well, have only dull and faded eyes, and always had the chiseled lip and chin, wherever runs the radiance of life in bumbling gleams the cup of living wine was never mine to taste or kiss i am earth coloured and for my own ugliness sit in the shadow that the sunlight may not see me nor the beloved of my god but once in my hidden corner behind the curtain of shadows i blink at the glory of the world and had such joy of it as only the ugly know sitting silent and worshipping forgetting themselves and forgotten here in my brain it glowed the shimmering of the dying sun upon the shore the long goal line between the sand and sea where the sliding foam caught fire and burned to death here in my brain it shone the white moon and the wrinkling river running away a dancing ghost line in the illimitable night here in my brain rose the mountain curves the great steel world of stone summit upon summit sweeping skyward lonely and conquering here in my brain my little brain behind this tiny ugly wall of bone stretched over with its dirty yellow skin glittered the far high blue desert with its sand of stars as i have watched it nights and nights alone hid in the shadows of the prairie grass here rolled and swelled the seas of corn and blossoming fields of nodding bloom and flower flies on their hovering wings went flickering up and down and the quick spring of live limb things went scattering dew across the sun and singing streams went shining down the rocks spreading bright veils upon the crags here in my brain my silent unrevealing brain were the eyes i loved the lips i dared not kiss the sculptured heads and tendril hair they were here always in my wonder house my house of beauty the temple of my god i shut the door on common life and worship here and no bright living flying thing in whose body beauty dwells as guest can guess the ecstatic joy of a brown silent creature a toad thing squatting on the shadowed ground self-blotted motionless thrilling with the presence of all beauty though it has no part therein but the gods are many and once a strange god came to me sharp upon the shadowy ground he stood and beckoned me with knotted fingers there was no beauty in his lean figure and sunken cheeks but up and down the muscles ran like snakes beneath his skin and his dark eyes had sombre fires in them and as i looked at him i felt the leap of prison forces in myself in the earth in the air in the sun all throbbed with the pulse of a wild god's heart beauty vanished from my wonder house and where his images had been i heard the clang and roar of machinery the forging of links that stretched to the sun chains for the tides chains for the winds and curious lights went shining through thick walls as through air and down through the shell of the world itself to the great furnaces within into those seething depths the god's eyes peered smiling and triumphing then with an up glance at the sky and a waste glance at me he strode off this is my great sin for which there is no pardon i followed him the rude god energy followed him and in that abundant moment so to be quit of beauty which had given me nothing and to be worshipper of him to whom i was akin ugly but sinuous resolute daring 
defiant, maker and breaker of things, remolder of the world. I followed him. I would have run abreast with him. I loved him, not with that still ecstasy of flooding joy wherewith my own God filled me of all, but with impetuous eager fires that burn and beat through all the blood threads of me. I love you, love me back, I cried, and would have flung myself upon his neck. Then he turned on me with a ruthless blow, and fled away over the world, leaving me crippled, stricken, powerless, a fire's pain, driving through my veins, gusts of pain, and I crept back into my old cavern, stumbling blind and deaf, only for the haunting vision of my shame and the rushing sound of fevered blood. The pain is gone, I see again. I care no more for the taunt and blow of the fire's god, who was never mine. But in my wonder house it is all still and bare. No image lingers on the blank mirrors any more. No singing bell floats in the echoless dome. Forms rise and pass, but neither mountain curve, nor sand, nor sea, nor shivering river, nor the faces of the flowers, no flowering faces of my god's beloved touch aught within me now not one poor thrill of vague delight for me who felt the glory of the stars within my fingertips it slips past me like water brown without and clay within no wonder now behind the ugly wall an empty temple i cannot worship i cannot love i cannot care all my life service is unweighed against that faithless hour of my forswearing it is just it is the law i am forsworn and the gods have given me the reward of an apostate. End of the reward of an apostate.